suddenly you realize you'll never have the good relationship you wanted. And as long as they were alive, even though you'd never admit it, part of you, the stupidest goddamn part of you, was still holding on to What's that What's going on, guys? Shit. So it is the morning of the next day. It's currently 12.30, and I just finished eating. I had a double fat burger with fries and ketchup. I don't even know. All right, we are back from the future. I just got out of my stats class. There was no exam, but it is currently 2.17 p.m. So I will catch you guys, uh, I guess, when I'm back home. Honestly, bro, I'm not feeling chest or legs today because that deadlift session yesterday was insane. So I guess I'll catch you guys for meal number two when I get home. So see you guys later. Peace. All righty, guys. So we are back home. And as I poured my cereal and I got my milk, um... I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I haven't had the best day today. And man, not a lot of us are grateful for what we have or for what God is doing for us. And it's scary, man, because this world is coming to an end. And I truly don't mean to bash any other religion. I'm not hating or disrespecting on any other religion. But Jesus is coming soon, man. It's crazy, man, because sometimes I think about it and I'm like, I only come to God when things go wrong or I only come to God when I need him. It's not right at all. And we shouldn't be like that, man. It's, let me set my camera up. You know, I'm not perfect, but I always do preach on my Instagram or when I post, I'm always preaching. Oh yeah, you guys have to be praying. God bless you all, but sometimes i look back and i'm like reflecting and i'm like am i really living out that lifestyle that god wants me to put out on the internet am i really making god proud with the content that i'm posting am i really putting out god's love for everybody to see is there really something different about me that everybody can see the honest answer is no today i had a realization that i need to go back to god man and it hurts because since God loves us so much, let me give you guys an example. So when a parent truly loves you, they discipline you, correct? And they love you so much. And sometimes like for us Hispanics, we get whooped, right? We get whooped. So when they're hitting us, they say, oh, this hurts you as much as it hurts me. I think that's how the phrase goes. And it's like, they love us so much, but in order for us to listen, they have to give us a little spanking. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of what God does to us, man. It's like when we don't listen, he has to bring us in somehow. And I'm not saying God makes us go through bad situations in life. No, 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 not that at all, because we have free will. We have the will to choose what we want to do in our life, a good path and a wrong path. You know what I'm saying? So God gave us that free will for us to do whatever we want. He loves us so much that he lets us choose what we want to do. Let me put this in a perspective where you guys will understand. Your heart, let's say you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, and if they don't want to be with you anymore, but you love that person so much that you're willing to let them go and do what they please. So that's kind of what God, I don't know if that's the best interpretation for me to do, but that's kind of how I see it. God loves us so much that he lets us pick if we either stay with him or we don't. That's it. Simple as that. So I just wanted to take back and let you guys know that God is still here. God is still there with you. He hasn't left your side. We should praise God. We should pray to God in times of good, in times of happiness, in times of joy. But instead, we only come to him in times of sorrow, in times of sadness. And that's not right, man, because that's not how it should be at all. So I just wanted to have that little pep talk. I kind of just felt like saying it because today was an eye opener for me. God is just so good, man. We, we take it for granted, honestly. But anyways... Let's cut to the cup of me eating the cereal, and then uh, that is gonna be the pre-workout meal for the gym today. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Today is going to be bench for chest day. Uh, I don't really feel like talking, so we're just going to warm up to my top set. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how bench feels today. Also, keep the fit, bro. 
I'm benching in Air Force Ones. That's how I know it. it's, it's already off to a bad chest day. I'm feeling a little chatty today. I had a bad day, man, so honestly, I don't even look bad right now. Like, low key, when I look good, I feel like I feel a little better about myself, but even then, man, I hope this chest day is really good because it'll low key outweigh my bad day that's going on, but anyways, this is, all this chatter that I'm doing right now is gonna go before I start my warm-ups, so you guys will just see me warming them after this. I'm, talk I'm doing way too much talking, bro. Oh man, long time. Ooh, come on. Oh my. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I sound like a maniac right now. I just sometimes when I feel so good, I just start laughing, bro. It's on some like on some Joker stuff, yo. Listen, boys and girls, there's a time to be serious and there's a time to play games. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, worked up to our top set. Let's see what RPE this moves at. Holy moly. Oh. Oh, that felt insane. Oh, man. I wasn't gonna show this final set, but basically doing back downs, two by sevens, RPE eight around there, so. Alrighty, that last video was a total fail. But like I was saying, uh, we are gonna move on to flat bench dumbbells. Uh, haven't done these since my last chest day and they didn't feel that great. So now we are going to focus on the hypertrophy because I'm also focusing on strength, but I want to grow my chest because I feel like it's one of the weakest links in my body um, besides my calves, but we're not gonna talk about that. Anyways, we're gonna warm up with 65s and then uh, work up to our top set. So let's begin. All right, guys, so moving on to chest flies. Honestly, this whole workout is gonna be doing the full chest. I'm not gonna do no incline today. I'm gonna just skip it just to see how I feel for my next chest day. So let's hit about uh, three or four sets here and move on to shoulders. So. Alright guys, so uh, we are here at the Smith Machine. Honestly, I think I might just do eight sets uh, for the shoulder Smith Machine. I just did a feeler set and it felt really good on my shoulder. So honestly, I might just do all eight sets here. So I'll catch you guys for the shoulder and chest pump. So peace.
Holy mackerel, let's get out of here. What can I say? I'm speechless, man. This was one of the few chest days that has been sincerely and honestly great. It's been too long since I felt this good for a chest day, bro. So enough blabbering, enough wasting time. Let's check this chest and shoulder pump. So you already know. Gotta lower the brightness just to make me look a little bigger. You know what I'm saying? All right, now. Oh yeah, I'm becoming a big boy, man. Look at my titties, bro. Holy. Okay, anyways. Let's check this. Oh my goodness, yo. Bro, lowering the exposure makes you look 10 times more jacked, I swear. All right, so. Oh my goodness, dude. You know what they say, man? It's time for a new bra change. Look at these, bro. They're sitting so nice. So I could have her lay her head right here, bro, and it'd be softer than a pillow. Oh, my rear delt, just to poke out when I'm just standing straight. But you see, it's underdeveloped, I feel like. And then my front delts are too big, I think, in my opinion. But holy moly. So this is how I look right now. This morning's weight, I think I was, well, 174, 175, I think, this morning. I got no idea. Honestly, my memory is all over the place. So this is the pump. Now, let's hit the sauna. I'll catch you guys for meal number three. Peace. Mm. These are my favorite cookies, bro. The Fudge Stripes, what is it? Keebler cookies? Bro, these changed my life, bro. I don't know why. I can literally eat the whole box and not feel bad at all right now. All right, guys. So this here is the actual final meal. Rice, tuna, and chicken, basic bodybuilder meal. This is gonna be the last meal for today. Uh, it's currently past midnight, so I'm gonna devour this meal. I'm gonna watch some loaf, maybe some Gideon, and then I'm gonna go to sleep because I have to wake up tomorrow like at 9 a.m. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Today was a very successful chest day. The chest and shoulder pump was insane. I literally had somebody in the sauna come to me and we're like, yo, I could see your chest striation. Like that was like the first time, not the first time, but that was like one of the many few times that I felt good from one of those compliments. Like it made my night, bro. I was like, yo, like the fact that some, and he looked jacked too. He was like a pretty like, you know what I'm saying? He was pretty good. He was a pretty big guy. Small compliments can make someone's day. So never stray away from being nice or giving compliments to somebody. So anyways, I'm gonna devour this meal, watch some YouTube. Uh, probably down like 16 ounces of water and call it a night. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day whenever you're watching this and God bless you all. Peace. Yo, how's he look? <laughs> <laughs> he looks goofy, bro. <laughs> <laughs>